One, the Trump administration is preparing tariffs on another $400 billion in Chinese imports. Could those tariffs have an effect on Mardi Gras, one of the deepest traditions here in Mobile? News 5's Nicolette Schleisman set out to explain how those could affect next year's carnival season. The next time you say, throw me something, mister, those throws might be a little bit more expensive. It's a tradition deeply ingrained in Mobile's history. In our culture, Mardi Gras is part of it, the fiber of Mobile. We have hunting, fishing, and Mardi Gras, my father used to always say. Mardi Gras parades and throws. Most of those throws, like the beads and toys tossed off the floats, are plastics imported from China. The Trump administration has included plastics on a list of more than 6,000 Chinese products they're preparing to increase the tariffs on. It's yet to be seen what exactly the tariffs will be on the Mardi Gras beads, but I think you know, if, say, a bead costs 50 cents a dozen, it goes to 55 or 60 cents a dozen, you know, is that really going to stop Mardi Gras? I don't think so. John Coster is the president of Sarah Land's Mardi Gras Association. Next year will be their first ever parade. I'm finding out how expensive Mardi Gras can get. They've started from the ground up in learning of the potential for an increase in prices and those coveted throws can add up. Who would ever think a thing of beads, you know, that costs, you know, buck fifty for a handful of beads. Now that buck fifty plus two cents times, you know, a hundred people times five cases times, it, you know, those pennies turn into dollars really quick. But he says that still won't stop them. For a new organization, we're going to feel the pinch. But we'll rally. I mean, that's what we do. It's Mardi Gras, and Mardi Gras don't stop for nothing. It's a, it's a freight train going down the tracks. Now, the actual effect remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure, the party will still roll on. Laissez-le bon temps, roulette. In Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.